In this video, I'll be creating the aimbot script in Python. And in the next video, we'll be actually writing the Arduino script, which will take in the output from the aimbot script and will actually move the mouse from those uh, X and Y differences that are given. So let's start off by making a new file. I'm going to copy all the code I currently have in Triggerbot, paste it here, save it. So I need to import serial. This will allow us to communicate with the actual Arduino through the serial port. We're going to make a few new variables. Sense. Aim. Speed. Target. Target. Let's go to fly. Serial. Com. And activation range. Okay. So sense. This is going to be your in-game sensitivity. Mine is 0 0.0313. Well, I meant 0 0.313. Aim speed is just how I'm going to calculate the actual real sensitivity for the code. Had to mess around. Sense. It's just going to take in sense. Target multiply. So this is depending on your monitor scale. Is basically what target multiply will be, which is what um, once all the calculations are done with the X and Y differences, you multiply it by target multiply. So it's depending on your monitor scale, it's uh, how much more or how much less you're going to have to move the actual thing. Usually it's not that big of a difference. So for me, I just have it as 0, 1.01. O two five, then one point o five. Just multiply this a couple times. So let's say you had a monitor scale of seven, then it usually it'd just be target multiply followed by a square bracket, and then it'd be monitor scale inside it, which would be the index of seven, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, serial com. So this is how we're going to communicate with the actual Arduino. Serial at serial. Place your COM port in these two. One, one, five, two, zero, zero. It's just the rate. Wanna, this is the highest number you can have the rate as. So the least uh, input leg, I believe. And time out equals zero. So there's no time in between. Place your COM port here. My COM port would be COM, COM3, I believe. This is activation range. So this is the how far away their head can be. So basically, it's your FOV for your, the aimbot. So the lower this number is, it's going to activate only when they're so far away from your crosshair. So let's say it's 10. If, if it's 10, then it's 10 pixels away from your crosshair. If it's 20, then you, it's 20 pixels. Okay. After that's done with, we... Oh, I think I need to actually make a couple of new variables here. So, aim underscore assist equals false. Aim assist toggle. Full equals true and send next equals true. Okay, so send next is basically it's going to be our list variable to know when the next time we can send actual coordinates towards the Arduino. So if we overload the Arduino with too many mouse movements, then it's going to overshoot the actual head of our enemy, 
let's say there's some lag in between the Arduino and actually moving, like between sending the coordinate and the mouse actually moving. So if the enemy is um, on my right, the mouse will try and move, but there's going to be some lag. So it's going to send another move input in the same time that the inferencing is running and the sending is running. This, this is going to be less of a problem if you're getting more FPS. I only get around 70 FPS, so I have slight problems with this. I'm going to scroll down. Should be everything. Now we're going to just make a new toggle. So it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to make this key toggle key alt. My alt key. It's going to be aim assist toggle. And this is toggle. Aim assist toggle. And then trigger bot is just going to be aim assist. Aim assist. Aim assist. Okay. So this is the thing. And here's the if statement. So it's if aim assist is on. Then if aim assist is on, and ooh, wait, you have to calculate the middle of the head. So to do that, we'll just take the screenshot center calculation. It'll be head underscore center list equals this. It's going to be x max. Minus x min divided by 2. We're going to remove these integer. We're actually not going to turn it into an integer yet. So we get a more accurate calculation. We have y max. Y min. Divided by 2. I believe. Okay. M assist equals true. And closest part distance is less than our activation range. So if this is true, then that means that we are able to flick to the head because it's in our FOV. We have to make sure send next. Oops, I actually made a mistake. Send next is equal to true. So we can send another coordinate and it's not gonna get overloaded. We're going to calculate x diff and y diff. It's going to be head under. Multiply by aim speed. And once all the calculations are done, we're going to multiply by target multiply. And monitor scale. Monitor scale. Okay, and it's the same thing for y diff. But it's the y coordinate. that's done we're gonna make it into a string int x diff int y diff so this is what the arduino is gonna read in and it's just going to be this string, which is just going to be the x difference followed by a colon and then the y difference. Now we're going to send it serial com dot write data dot encode. So it's going to encode the data and then it's going to send it over the COM port. 
why is this not slightly opened? Send next zero equals false. So it's going to make it so we're unable to send a new coordinate until a cooldown is up. It's just going to be the same cooldown as this essentially. A cooldown, cooldown to the target, except a new target is going to be send next. And our cooldown time is only going to be 0 0.05. This cooldown time is going to vary for you. For me, I usually get like 50 to 60 FPS, so I have it at 0 0.05. But if you get less FPS than me, then you'll most likely have to increase this number. Mess around with it a bit. Then we're going to thread dot start. And this should be it. I'm just going to run it. I'm not actually going to test it in game because we haven't made the actual Arduino script yet. Okay, so I'm getting about 46 FPS with recording on and no optimizations. So when I press Alt, it turns the trigger button, I meant the aimbot on. When I press false, it turns it off. So it appears to be working. And in the next video, I'll show you how we can write the Arduino script, which will then take in this, this as input, and it'll move the mouse. See you.